In this video, we're going to be ranking Billy Lurk's unique abilities from worst to best. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Number 5. Rat Whispers. This ability is last because it's not really essential. You can use this ability to gain intel on characters and areas, but overall, you don't really need it. Number 4. Displace. This ability is a worse version of Blink and Far Reach. The range is shorter and it costs more to use, even though the mana bar is different in Death of the Outsider. This ability is so bad that I would recommend not using it because it's costly and not very effective. Number 3. Void Strike. This is a cool ability. You can attack enemies from range, and the distance you can hit enemies at is impressive. The problem with this ability is that it takes about 4 to 5 hits to kill enemies, and by the third strike, you're already low on mana. What's worse is, in enemy groups, you can only strike one enemy at a time, so you're easily swamped. Once again, this is a cool ability, but it's somewhat expensive and not that effective. Number 2. Foresight. This ability is a lot better than I thought it was. You can use this ability to highlight enemies, documents, and scout a level so you have an idea of what to expect up ahead. You can also see the expected path a highlighted enemy is going to take. This ability is also good because it doesn't cost much to use, so it lasts a while. The problem with this ability is that it has a range. If you go too far away from your starting point, the ability ends. This ability is probably essential because it doesn't cost much to use, and it's very effective because you can find out a lot of information in a short period of time. Number 1. Semblance. This might be the most overpowered ability in the series. I thought Mesmerize from Dishonored 2 was, but this might just take the top spot. One of the reasons why is because when you use this ability on an enemy, you not only take their appearance, but you knock them out at the same time. So it's even better than possession. Combining that with the mana system in this game, you can use semblance on an enemy, walk up to another enemy, wait for your mana bar to refill, and then use it again. And you can do this over and over again. It's absurd that this is even possible, because in theory, you can use semblance to take out every single enemy in a level with ease. The one negative to this ability is that if you are detected, this ability becomes useless. But the positives far outweigh the negatives. Semblance is not only the most effective ability in this game, but in the entire series. Spider, every baby boy up and down, scouring the land.